What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do this inside Resolve 16 with no plugins required. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I love teaching you guys tips and tricks. I bring out weekly videos. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button, tag along, learn with us. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to blur a face out inside Resolve. It's really easy and there's many applications in where you might need this for a video. Maybe you're filming in public and you can't have that person's face in the background so you need to blur them out. That's what we're gonna do. Let's dive inside Resolve and we'll go from there. So you can see I loaded in this really old video clip of me talking. It's just some talking head footage I have. Nothing really too crazy. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to the color tab. So after you're inside the color tab, we're gonna go right here to the window selection. I'm gonna click on the node. I'm gonna hit option S and bring up a new node. I prefer doing any effects and anything else on separate nodes. So I always have that original underneath and I'm not messing it up and then completely screwed later. After you have that node selected, we are gonna hit the circle. We are gonna bring that on my face. We're gonna dial it in a lot smaller. I think that should be pretty good. Close the blur in a little bit more, and that should be fine. Make sure I'm all the way at the beginning. Line that back up just a little bit better. We're gonna go right here to the track. We're gonna click on the tracker. We're gonna make sure we're on the right thing. And we are going to hit track forward. Resolve will do its magic and will track your face. Hopefully everything goes really well. If you have not seen the video on where I do tracking text and tracking 3D text, I'll link a video in the card above. Go check it out. That's also got some really good information about trackers inside Fusion. So definitely check that out. If everything went well, it is tracked beautifully and it has tracked your face throughout the entire video clip. There is two ways you can go about to blur someone's face. The first thing you can do is go right here to the blur tab and we could just blur that way up. I'm not a huge fan of that. I, it just, it's not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to get that off. What I like to do is go over here to the effects and if this is not here, make sure you click on open effects and you scroll down to where the blur would be. Uh, there's multiple blurs you can select from. I prefer the pixelated. So we're gonna grab the mosaic blur. We're gonna drag it on top boom that already looks a lot better than the other but what we're going to do is we're going to fine tune that a little bit i'm going to grab the pixel frequency and i'm going to slide it up until i find where i think looks good if you go too far you're going to start to tell who the person is we're just going to kind of dial it I think right there and on the blur strength we're going to turn that up just a little bit so it kind of is making this blend with the skin just a little bit more. If I didn't do that, or if I went too, way too much, it's gonna do everything. But if I barely bring that in, it just starts to blend into the cheek and sides a little bit better. Play that through, see how I like that. And yeah, I think that actually looks pretty dang good. Well, there you go, guys. That is a really simple, easy tutorial for you guys. Just something, a quick tip for you, really, uh, on how to blur someone's face. The Resolve Tracker in here works phenomenal. Um, we can dive in way more with some other stuff like that in the future, but this was just a real quick one for you guys. So there you go. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below on some new videos you wanna see coming out. I've got some awesome tutorials coming out. So if you haven't not already, click that subscribe button with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm the Iron Giant. You guys are amazing. I'm out.